Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I told my daughter straight up. I said, check this out. Dad is like your best friend. I know what all of these guys want to really, really do. I'm going to school y'all to all the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all see your daddy's a rolling stone and I love y'all. I'm and and I, this is this is just me right now, you know? And um but but when it comes time to start dating, I'm going to give you all of this all of the tricks of the trade, you know? And um but I'm going to tell you this right now. If you give it away, it ain't it, it ain't worth it ain't worth as much. It ain't worth. You gotta, y'all gotta wait and take your time, and that's like the conversation to treat yourself like queens, and don't do nothing without coming and talk to me. <laughs> now what are they? Two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month to do strange shit at will. You couldn't wait for Cassie to run. You couldn't wait to be in Cassie's shoes. Carisha. Hey, tea sippers. Good morning. I hope everybody's doing good today. So once again, Diddy, the big dick deviant. Okay, he looks so horrible in this picture. He looks like some type of, I don't know, reptilian. <laughs> but anyways, this big dick deviant has once again hit the news. If you guys don't know, well, I was busy editing my video yesterday and I was preparing for the Zoom meeting that we had on Discord. I found out that he has been sued again. Okay, by a model, and I actually remember this girl. For all of us 90s kids, y'all know MTV True Life had us in a chokehold, honey. This was a reality show that focused on regular everyday people. It'd be like, True Life, I'm poor and I live in the hood. True Life, I'm morbidly obese and I need to get gastric bypass. True Life, me and my mama live in a car together. True Life, I'm a freak at night. You know, it was like all types of shows, but I remember this one. This one was True Life, I'm a model. And um, this is kind of where America's Next Top Model came from, I believe, because back in the day when they, they, because back in the day they used to do all these model searches at malls and, you know, at different places. And so IMG and a few other big agencies like Wilhelmina, Ford, all that stuff would have these huge model searches. So MTV decided to follow a young girl on her search um, for, you know, trying to be a model. And her name was Crystal McKinney. And I remember this episode, cause this was back, you know, my high school days, we were all into modeling and we go to model searches at the Mall of America and stuff like that. So I was very shocked when I seen her name tied to this lawsuit. So I want y'all to watch a snippet of this and let me know if y'all remember, if y'all remember Crystal McKinney from True Life, I'm a Model. Check this out. Hi, I'm Christian McKinney from Savannah, Georgia. I won MTV and IMG's model mission for 1998. Congratulations, Crystal! Flash has been so crazy. That's nice, nice, nice. Out of this world. Gorgeous, gorgeous. At the same time, crappy. Don't be so close to me! And then so cool. It's only you. It's a double page cool. spread in the magazine. My died. I think I probably walked up and down the hallways in my school a million times trying to do a runaway walk. Then when you turn and you stop, kind of like throw your hips out. Why do you want to be a model? Um, money, um, fame. Oh, I was so stupid. <laughs> the envelope, please. And she's like the winner. Of Crystal loves me. It's Crystal McKinney. She's like Crystal McKinney. And I was like ah. And then I didn't know. I feel like she gave me the flowers, and I was like oh. And then she like kind of pushed me. <laughs> she's like walk, <laughs> you know. And I was like oh god. <laughs> All right, so y'all just saw a snippet of that video and I made sure to download it just in case, you know what I'm saying, did the diddler tries to take it down. I made sure to download the full episode. So anyhow, what is going on is that, you know, I kind of wondered what happened to her over the years. I didn't really keep up with her career like that, but some just really sad and disturbing news hit the airwaves yesterday. She is suing Diddy. So let me go ahead and break this down to y'all, okay? So this is what's being said. The latest in a string of allegations against Sean Diddy Combs, 
Former model Kristen McKinney filed a lawsuit Tuesday accusing Diddy of forcing her to perform oral sex on him in 2003. According to the New York Times, as reportedly detailed in the complaint, the alleged sexual assault took place at Combs' New York recording studio, where McKinney was 22 years old, per Rolling Stone. This is the sixth sexual assault-related complaint filed against Combs in many months. The lawsuit, which was filed in the Federal District Court of Manhattan, claims that McKinney met Combs through an unnamed fashion designer during the Men's Fashion Week in New York over two decades over two decades ago. According to the Times recounting of the complaint, Combs allegedly invited the 22-year-old to his studio where McKinney says she was given alcohol and marijuana that she believed was laced with narcotic. Later, McKinney claimed in a complaint that Combs took her to the bathroom, pushed her head near his crotch, and forced her to perform oral sex after she refused, per the lawsuit. Only upon regaining consciousness hours later in the cab, did McKinney remember the alleged sexual assault? The cut reached out to the representatives for Combs, and we'll update this post when we hear back. Per the Times, McKinney said that she decided to file a lawsuit after learning of the handful of complaints that had already been filed against Combs, including by his former girlfriend, Cassandra Cassie Ventura. Because the allegations are over 20 years old, they are technically outside the statute of limitations. However, the Times reports that the lawsuit had invoked New York's victim of gender-motivated violence, which temporarily allows survivors to file complaints after the statute of limitations has run out. The complaint comes less than a week after the release of the 2016 video, which shows Combs assaulting Cassie, for which Combs has since apologized. Previously, he had denied all accusations of the assault. So what is very disturbing about this situation, you guys, is like I played in that montage, you guys heard him talking about his daughters and you know how he wants to protect his daughters and you know put them up on game. It's funny how all these deviants, like I've been saying for a long time, they're always overly protective of their daughter's sexuality, their cooch, their virginity. And then we find out time and time again that these men are some of the biggest deviants. Let's take the game, for instance. Remember the game was talking about Ricky Rose putting things in people's drinks, which we all know is wrong, and he suffered a lot of consequences for that song back when it came out. But the game decided to bring it up. And while he was talking shit about Ricky, you know, allegedly drugging women, people started clocking his old tea, okay? We all know about him finger fucking India Love when she was barely legal, just turned 18, making her smell his finger and all that nasty stuff. But what was very interesting is that while he was over here in 2023 crying about his daughter, remember for his birthday, he was crying tattoo tears. The video went viral. He was getting emotional about his little girl and all this other stuff. Let me, let me refresh y'all's memory. Everybody that know me know it's her for me every single time. Girl. I don't give a fuck. Oh. I love you, boy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to pause. I'm pausing. Yeah. I just seen that clip so he's you know very emotional about his daughter he's a proud girl dad and all that bullshit uh ruby rose clocked his tea and was like you know while you're talking about rick ross and everything else don't forget you was in my dms when i was 17 and she bought the receipts okay back in 2014 she says the game just dm me is this real life i can't breathe and then she showed everybody the dms And the game is in her DM talking about what's up. She said, yes, me. She was 17 years old in 2014. The game was around the age of 35. Okay. This is the same man who's always hooping and hollering about having a shotgun ready for his daughter, Callie Dream. And, you know, can't nobody mess with Callie Dream. And that's his baby girl and crying tattoo tears. But once again, this big dick deviant had no problem going after somebody else's 17-year-old daughter. Okay, just like with India Love. Again, we have Puffy talking all that shit about his daughters and his daughters this and his daughters that. But yet and still he had no problem, you know, smashing somebody else's barely legal daughter, Cassie, putting hands on her and everything else. Let's also not forget T.I. 
Remember, he caused a bunch of controversy a few years ago when, you know, joke or not, he claimed that he follows Deja to her gynecology appointments to make sure that her hymen is still in check. Remember, he got a lot of backlash for this. Very shocked, hurt, angry, embarrassed. T.I.'s daughter, Deja, is speaking out. The rapper's daughter appeared on T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle, where she spoke out about a past controversial moment when her dad talked about going to the gynecologist with her. I mean, honestly, I, I'm embarrassed, definitely, for sure. Like, it's, I'm trying to, like, push it in the back of my mind, so I'm really not thinking about it. That's the it. problem. Mm -hmm. Stop doing it. I know, it's not healthy, but. It's at all. It's okay to cry. The episode of the show comes after the rapper made controversial comments last year when he revealed he takes his daughter on yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her hymen in order to ensure she's a virgin. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. So don't you guys find it funny that so many men in the industry are highly protective of their daughters, but yet they don't have that same protection wherewithal or integrity towards other people's daughters, sisters, or mothers. I find this whole situation with this young model very sad. And from what else they went on to say, they're saying that she basically lost her modeling career after this because, um, you know, he kind of got her blacklisted, maybe because she didn't do what all he wanted her to do or she was difficult, I don't know. But Crystal McKinley basically fell off the face of the earth after that. Sean Diddy Combs is being sued by a model accusing him of sexual assault. The rapper is being sued by model Crystal McKinney over claims that he drugged and sexually assaulted her at his New York studio in 2003, according to legal documents obtained by E! News May 21st. In the documents, McKinney, who is modeled for brands like Tommy Hilfiger and Macy's, alleges that she was invited by an unnamed designer to a Men's Fashion Week dinner at Cipriani downtown, where she was told that she'd be introduced to Combs to potentially advance her career. Ahead of the event, the model, then 22, said she was instructed to change her appearance by dyeing her hair and buying a new outfit to ensure that the Bad Boy Records founder found her attractive per the suit. And while Combs did promise to help her, quote, make it big one day during the dinner, according to the filing, the 54-year-old also allegedly made flirtatious remarks toward McKinney before inviting her to his studio later that night to, quote, get to know her better. While at his studio, per the filing, Combs and an associate then pressured her to smoke and drink until she felt like she was floating, despite her previously insisting she had had enough. Combs then allegedly demanded McKinney follow him into the bathroom where he began kissing her without her consent and forced her to perform oral sex on him. She said she lost consciousness shortly after and awoke in shock to find herself in a taxi back to the designer's apartment per the lawsuit. McKinney, who claimed in the suit that she was blackballed in the modeling industry following the incident, is seeking compensatory and punitive damages in the case, as well as coverage of her attorney's fees and costs. She also demands a trial by jury. We didn't hear nothing from her. This was a girl that was featured on MTV. She signed a huge modeling contract. That's why I, you know, now that I'm older, I kind of thank God that my life didn't go down that path because I'm really starting to think that the modeling industry is nothing but a huge sex trafficking ring. Remember the girl that was calling out Naomi Campbell? Remember her name was Elsa Majimbo. And she had called out Naomi Campbell and was talking about how Naomi Campbell was basically trying to, you know, pimp her off in so many words to older white men, you know. And we all know Naomi Campbell was very close to Epstein. You know, she was at all the parties. Um, Y'all can go back and watch the video. I broke all that down. And at one point in time, she was even dating Diddy. So this rabbit hole goes deep with a lot of these people. And it's really sick and sad how not only the girls are used in this industry, let's not forget about the young men, you know, who are used, sexually abused, and then tossed to the gutter. I was personally disturbed many years ago, okay? I, I, I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I and he said yes. And they were flying around one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what? what do you, why did it end? And he yeah. wouldn't say. And years later, 
they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, and the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, this is this is God. how it goes. OK. Yeah. And this is why a lot of people leave this industry scarred and, and bitter and angry because they go in bright eyed and bushy tail. They look at these people as heroes. And, you know, we see them on TV. We see their wealth. We see their fame. And we think that they're perfect. We think they can do no wrong, only to find out that they're really evil. A lot of these folks in the industry are really dark. I believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's going to be more lawsuits coming against him. He's going to be exposed even more. I'm sure there's going to be more videos. Diddy's team are bracing themselves for more damaging videos to emerge after he was caught beating up his ex-girlfriend Cassie in a hotel hallway. I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I take full responsibility for my ashes in that video. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Diddy was said to be stunned by the video's release, and the rapper is now holding crisis talks with his lawyers. Cassie's lawyer has criticized Diddy's disingenuous apology and said, the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Cohn. And I would not be surprised if also more people come out against his friend T.D. Jakes as well, okay? It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. So this entire situation is very sad and I really feel bad for Crystal, but I'm glad she found the strength to speak out and let people know about Diddy's predatory behavior. And again, like I always tell you guys, where there's smoke, there's fire. Isn't it interesting that all the women who have sued him for sexual assault are basically saying the same thing? How he forced them to, you know, suck him off and force their head down there and all this other stuff. You know, so again, Something's not cleaning the buttermilk. I give it to you raw. Parents make sure that you don't get fucked. Straight up. There's a lot of fucking going on in the entertainment industry. The music industry, everybody's getting caught up in something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now though, everybody. I'm cured. Everything's good. You know, y'all can have me over for dinner. Everything is good. This is the age of Aquarius. And I think a lot of these men who have done wrong have a lot of hell to pay. Nothing more, nothing less. Just because you can resist the devil doesn't mean you should hang out with him. If you don't want temptation to follow you, don't act like you're interested. It's much easier to avoid temptation than it is to resist it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning the diddler. Um, let me know y'all's thoughts on this. How do y'all feel about this latest lawsuit? And do you guys remember Crystal McKinney from True Life on MTV? And do you agree with me that a lot of these guys who seem to be overly protective of their daughters is because they've done a lot of messed up stuff in their past to women and they feel guilty and they don't want that befalling their daughters. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Please hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, please make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for y'all's support and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.